What is up everyone, Clayton here, and today we're here with our first official episode of our random build Skyrim thing. I, I explained it in the first episode, so if you haven't seen the first episode, go check that out. But pretty much I got a on a website that gave me a random Skyrim character, a generated character, what abilities I use, what factions to join. And if I remember in the future, future me remembers to put up the check character sheet, put it up right now as soon as it syncs up with my snap there that'd be pretty neat if I could do that but future me is an asshole so I probably won't anyways uh, future me do that and you can see what our character is all about we are using bows we are an agonian we use destruction magic heavy armor and uh, we want to try to stay strict to this so what I mean by that is uh, our standing stone is apprentice stone so up here in a little bit we could pick between the warrior thief and uh, mage stone and we're not going to pick any of them because that's not what stone we need to use. Oh, really? We can join the fight to free Skyrim. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we are with Rayloff here because we are actually part of the Stormcloaks, even though we're Argonian. Uh, yeah. And our character is Argonian. His name is Redscale the 11th. He is the 11th of this name. And, uh, he's a pretty badass guy. Also, just a side note, this is on the PC with tons of mods, but, uh, I'm using a controller because I'm a pleb, and I'd rather use a controller. So, that's a that's a story. What? Oh, there's a rune up there. Never understood how my sister could stand living in the shadow of that place. I don't know, man. I guess you get used. You must get used to a giant barrel filled with Draugr above you. I don't know if I would be able to. Man, it'd be really nice if I could pick one of these sand stones, but we got the goddamn apprentice stone. Which, to complete, be completely honest, I have no idea where the hell the Apprentice Stone is even on the map. I would have to look that up. Anyways, anyways, Rayloff, I think this is where we're going to take our leave of you. I kind of have already mapped out our plan of what I really want to do next. And uh, that is go and get a special weapon. Uh, or a special spell to be one of our weapons. Uh, a lot of people in the comments of the last uh, video, or one person in particular, I remember him, he had a Khajiit... Uh, uh, profile picture, which is I thought was kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, he said something about oh crap, there's bad guys, bad wolves. Got him. Uh, hotkeys. Oh, yeah, fire magic. Yeah, we'll definitely use that. Burn. Burn the big bad wolves. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, they said to. Er, that one guy with the Khajiit uh, profile picture, he said something about getting the Bound Bow. And I know a place where we can get the Bound Bow pretty much at level 1. Uh, it's difficult to get, but I think we'll be able to do it. Um, I kind of did a test run on another character uh, a little bit ago, or a couple days ago, to make sure I could do it at this lower level. And I uh, actually found this out, the place of this location, um, from my old uh, Skyrim guide. Uh, by Trendkill. I don't know if he does YouTube videos anymore, but uh, that's where I first saw Skyrim builds and where I first got interested in them. Hildy saw a dragon. Alright, so I know for a fact that we can go talk to Gerder. Even if Rayloff isn't here, we can get some supplies from her. Sometimes she has an enchanted ring or an enchanted item that's pretty neat. So definitely gotta check that out. Um, Rayloff said he could help me out. How do you know him? Uh, we escaped the Imperials together. You did? We heard that Ulfric was captured. No, sorry. But in times like oh, these, you I can't just take the word of a stranger who wanders into town claiming to be my brother's friend. Dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. We and Rayloff escaped, man. A dragon? In Helgen? It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw What's earlier. up, Sharpen that, that sword right there. Looking pretty nice, boy. It was a dragon. Rayloff would tell you the same thing. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. And it's raining. This world coming to? Come on. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. It does look like it's defenseless. Alright, we'll go to the part of Jarl Bargris. Alright, but do you... Can you, do that for me? Can you talk to Gerder? Gerder? You're a Pokemon. Can I have any supplies? Alright, what do we got here? 
Help yourself to whatever you Ring need. of wielding. I'm not going to be able to use that because that's not something I use. Um, we'll take the mead that's pretty expensive and the alto wine. Alright, before we head to uh, Fort Amal, which is where the uh, Conjure... Did I ever say it was Conjure Bow? Yeah, it's Bound Bow. The Bound Bow is what we're after. We're going to stop inside the Riverwood Creator, and hopefully this loading screen doesn't take very long, so I don't have to cut it out. Uh, I'm not going to worry about your Golden Claw class at the moment. I don't care, man. I'm just going to buy some stuff. Um, I would like to sell things. How do I switch between it? There we go. Controllers is kind of weird when switching between selling and buying. So my plan is to sell all this. Um, we can sell the wolf pelt. We're going to be using smithing, I believe, but we'll go ahead and uh, sell all this stuff. And uh, one thing is, we use heavy armor, but I like to use hoods. Uh, that's just kind of how I play, and that's something what I do. So I'm going to do that, and uh, I'm going to keep this stuff just in case I need it. And we can sell all the swords because we will not be using those because we use weapons. Uh, those are not the weapons we use. We use uh, bows and magic. But there is one thing I wanted to buy from you. And that would be... Is it, is it Ray Zombie? Yes, I believe it is Ray Zombie. So I would like Ray Zombie from you. Thank you, uh, Lucian. Uh, yeah, f uh, Ray Zombie is pretty much the only conservation spell we're going to get at an early level. So that's the plan. So now, the plan is, if we check out on the map real quick, Fort Amal, oh, we haven't used the map yet. Fort Amal is in this general location, in this general area. So that means we're going to have to hike um, all the way across here, across the river, and follow this path all the way around. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out, and uh, I know I'm going to have to cut back in right around here because there's a dungeon we have to go through pretty much to get by, and... Uh, well, so I'll see you guys over there. But yeah, we're just going to do this normal trek. And I'm going to be cutting a lot of stuff out in this, uh, these LPs. Because there's a lot of stuff that uh, you don't really see, need to see me mindlessly walking. I would like to at least uh, keep some gameplay in it. But this first part was pretty interesting. And man, look at this water. I don't know why this water looks so nice. And it's raining. It's like an Argonian's dream. It reminds him of Homes of the Marsh. Doesn't it, Red Scale? It does. But yeah, I'll see you guys at, a. I think it's Valum Tower, is I believe the location. Unless something interesting happens, but I don't think anything will. Nope. I spoke too soon. It looks to be one of our Stormcloak brothers has got taken captured by a bunch of Imperials. We're not going to stand for this. Oh, I missed. There. Oh, I hit this. I hit the storm cloak. Oh god! <laughs> I hit the storm cloak, soldier. <laughs> Out of all the people there. Oh my god! I deserve to die. I deserve to die. <laughs> we'll put points in the health, and uh, I believe that. Uh, if we have we're putting the points into archery, it would probably be the best thing to do. <laughs> I can't believe I hit the only Stormcloak soldier there. I'm going to have to kill him anyway, so I'm going to have to kill both of them. Or all of them, because uh, otherwise they'll just attack me. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh, I'm such an asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, for brother. I'm going to kill you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god. I can't believe I did that. I deserve to die. <laughs> Alright, so round two of trying to feed our Stormcloak brother. Uh, I don't actually think we have any weapons to give him since we gave up all of our weapons. But maybe we can at least free him. Yeah, uh... We don't have any weapons to give him, so we'll just let him fight by our side, and uh, so hopefully that would work out pretty okay. I know I'm hitting the ground here, but I'm a little bit nervous about hitting our friend. Okay, he's dead. Alright, so he's already dead. Awesome. And I forget, like, I'm level 1 fighting Imperial soldiers, so 
hopefully I don't get messed up too hard. And uh, I would like to kill these people, because I know these guys have some good uh, bows on them that I could definitely use until we get our bound bow. And that would help us out tremendously against the mages who are at Fort Amal. Alright, so as long as these guys keep missing... No, sir. Oh, why are you dual-wielding? What the hell? Uh, why are you guys dual-wielding? That's a... I don't know why they're dual-wielding. That's scary. I would not like to use my ability yet, my his skin, to be completely honest, uh, because I need to use that at Fort them all. Alright. Line up the shot. No, I missed. If I keep him at bow distance, I should be fine. I should be. Let's use a potion real quick. Man. This video is not starting off as good as I thought it would. Alright, there we go. He's dead, which means we can pick up... We'll pick up his items, because we need to sell that. And, uh... We we'll definitely put this bow on instead of our bow we have now. And we'll put the steel arrows on because we might need it to fight these guys. Juke. Oh, he hit me. Alright, so we need another potion because we're about to die again. But it's a good thing we have a lot of potions. We don't... Oh. Can you go down, please? Oh, man. <laughs> uh... Oh, why is he not burning? Usually, if you just burn them slightly, they, uh, they'll go on the knee. Oh, wow, nice shot. Alright. Oh, God. Alright, there we go. We have a level up now. Alright, so, this time, let's put it into health. And I think archery is the best way to go, because that's what we're going to be using a lot. And we'll take all of his stuff. The sp steel spring bow, which is part of a, uh, immersive armors, I believe. I feel like I should be able to kill him with just the rest of his fire. Yeah, there we go. So we didn't we didn't accomplish to save our Stormcloak brother, uh, but we did accomplish to kill some dirty Imperials, which uh, is always good in my book. As a uh, aspiring Stormcloak, we want to become a Stormcloak because that's what we believe we should be fighting for. So that's that was pretty that's a pretty good deal in my book. So now. We must head towards Fort Amal even more, and uh, I think we're pretty close to our next location that I would actually cut back to, so I think we'll keep it in, if, it, if everything goes according to plan. Um, but yeah, there's, there's actually a Stormcloak camp up here, and it's kind of weird. I'm actually using a, uh, Imperial Heavy Armor at the moment, because that's the only Heavy Armor I've actually found. I found that in the dungeon... Um, the very first like intro intro dungeon the tutorial and uh, I have to wait to find uh, something new what did I oh a skeever alright yeah so I have to wait to find some better armor what the hell's going on up here oh I've never seen this interaction before looks like a vigilant of Stendar is fighting some uh, skeletons hello friend I guess we're we kind of we kind of side with the, that guy, um, since we are actually going to be part of the Dawn Guard when we get to it, which is pretty nice. Um, looks like some wolves. So we'll see if we can get some sneak attacks on those guys. And uh, I think the standing stone on top of this hill is the Ritual Stone. Oh, I missed. I'm missing all my shots. I should hit right. No, am I hit too high? What about there? There we go. Oh man, we knocked that one out. This is on master difficulty. I don't know if I said it in this episode. We can check again. I can show you guys straight up what it is. Master difficulty. Always master difficulty. Uh, but yeah, I believe this is the ritual stone and not the stone that we need. I believe that the apprentice stone is actually um, kind of near where I'm going. I might be wrong. That might actually be the Atronach stone. I know the Axonox Stone is south of Windhelm, and kind of the uh, geyser A area. I don't know really hot springs would be the probably the correct term. The hot spring area. So we'll definitely go there. Alright, alright. Not too shabby. And there, those towers up there is where we need to go. That is, uh, we gotta get by there. 
And I know for a fact there's an archery book in there, which would be pretty nice to have. So we're definitely going to check that place out. And this would be the direct path to Zafordo Mall, which I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty nervous about, to be honest. Um, they're mages, and they're pretty high up level mages. Because um, I feel like this part of the map is a lot harder to face. And when you get towards Markarth and stuff, there's a lot of tough enemies. So let's get our bow equipped. Alright. I don't know, can we get that guy up there? It would be uh, right there. I think we're too low. Right there. That should be good, right? Is that too low even? Right there. That's too high now. A sneak increase, there we go. That should hit, right? Uh, maybe a little bit closer? Maybe I'm off a smidge. Get it aim small, miss small. Or aim bad, miss bad. I can't see where the arrows are going. Oh, he dodged that one. I think that was going to hit. But the master difficulty AI was too strong. I know there's a guy right there. You can hardly see her. See right there. Got her. Got her again. All the kill cam. Oh, that echo hit it right in the ear. Alright, so we're back to sneak. Can we get this guy? Uh, I don't think we can get that guy. Oh, wow, damn. Oh, the kill cam. Look at this. Oh, right up the nose. Bam. Falls down. Damn, red scale. You, f you fucking some shit up, man. What can I... Can I search you? being really finicky about where I can look the search this bandit sir can I search you or ma'am sorry maybe that's why she's mad she's like you can't search me you call me sir all right there we go can I get this guy right there that's a perfect shot all right freak out a little bit freak out right there nope all right so this would be a good idea to use our book gray zombie uh, and I haven't actually decided what I really want to use for my destruction. If I what what uh what I really want to use, what I really really want. So tell me what you want. No, I'm not gonna sing Spice Girls. I just, I refuse to sing any more than I just sung. But yeah, how about that? Leave that down in the comments down below if you guys read rather me use uh, lightning, fire, or ice magic. Ice magic would probably be the hardest to use because a lot of Nords are in this uh in Skyrim. Shocker! A lot of the native race is in this country. Oh wow, now I'm hitting. I think we should be fine to get that guy dead. Okay, and that's another bandit. But that is a bandit. Um, oh, I took all that girl's clothes. That one in the back is a bandit chief. So I'm a little bit worried about that. And there's a freaking... Alright, so we have a level up, so that should be fine. Alright, so... Okay, I don't want to hit her. Oh, I fucking... I keep hitting teammates. Why do I keep hitting teammates? Uh, okay, so... Hmm. My plan might be just using fire. And then... We don't have foos. Alright, so I'm just gonna heal. Or, or use my level up here. So we have one more perk to increase. So I think the best line of... Uh, or... Line of action. I don't know how to say it. Best idea is to do this. Um, and then just fire the guy down. Hopefully that will work. Me? Just a door. You can't get me now. Alright. Burn bandit. Oh, why are you chasing me? Okay, excuse me. Pardon me. No, this is not what I want. I want to live. All right, bandit, can you can you uh, make sure the big bad bandit chief doesn't hurt me? I'd appreciate it. 
There we go. Stay right there. Oh, man. Stop getting in front of my people. I missed. I don't want to keep hitting my teammates. Oh, crap. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm lucky I'm Argonian, or that might have hurt. I'm probably going to have to speed this up. There's no way I can get to Fordham all in this episode if I keep doing this and bumbling around. Alright. Come on, Bandit Chief. You may be strong, but I am Argonian. Oh, nice shot. Take a knee. Yes, burn. All right. Very well. All right, so Brigade Plate Harness. That's part of a uh, mod pack, I believe. All right. So my plan now is to put this armor on because it is technically better than what I have. And there we go. How does that look? Oh, we don't look bad. So now let's go loot that. Let's go loot that dungeon, or the, the loot the towers at least. Man, that was a lot more difficult than I ever imagined that to be. Last time I played through this, uh, it was like I made the same character, same race, same uh, abilities, and everything else, and uh, I had a lot more uh, problems with it this time around. But I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, I was gonna come loot this guy, but uh, they're in the river somewhere. I don't think I looted any of these people on the run as well. I'll take the arrows off of these people. And some of the light armor that's uh, pretty good to sell. It's not really a good thing to pick up all heavy armor and sell it. Because it's not too good. Um, there is some ore there. I know there's a pick there. Pro tip, you guys can pickaxe. There's one on the, that table right there. But yes, our goal is to get the freaking... Bound bow in this episode, which might be a little bit of a stretch. Alright, take your time, Red. Anytime, there we go. But yeah, there is a... I know there is... Oh, there's a chest here. I played this game so much that I know, like, the useless stuff on, like, the beginning parts of the game. I know where, like, useless stuff is. This is a pretty good place if you're an archer. Early on, there's tons of people with arrows and bows and stuff. Well, we'll take this. I guess we're not using enchanting, so I don't really need to take that. Um, yeah, but there's black arrow, V2, which gives us a level up on our bow. So we're halfway through level 3, it looks like. And sometimes there's a bow that spawns on this table here, but I think I got here at a too early of level. There's just like a, a bow with like a mediocre enchantment on it. And you can get that from time to time, which is another reason why this place is pretty good. But we use Conjuration, so that means we need to head to a location where we can uh, get a better bound bow. And I think, with time constraints on this video, we're just going to have to snap back to when we get to Fort Amal, which uh, I'll show you guys on the map when I get there. It's not too far away from here, and I don't believe there's anything we run into. All I knew that those towers were going to be something we had to deal with, and uh, we dealt with it pretty okay. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Um, do I look like I have any money? Yes, I'm not going to ask again. Uh, I don't have time for this. Don't you walk away from me. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about this. Oh, that thief takes no damage. Why do I get into these situations like this? 
Why me? Oh, he's a Dunmer. That's why. He doesn't take fire damage. Alright, so now we're going to have to break out some legit strategies right now. And use some sparks. There we go. He's taking a little bit more damage. This is next uh, This is next level Skyrim play. We switch magic per uh, race refight. Hmm. We're going to have to use a potion, I believe. We don't have very many potions left. Eh. We need more magicka. Alright, we're just going to... We're just going to keep uh, doing this. Oh, yeah. What, what now, thief? You regret picking on me. Red scale the 11th. My ancestors have dealt with more than you. Alright. Why do we get... Why do we have to fight stupid stuff like that all the time? Um, but yeah, Fort Amal, as you can see, the little icon for Fort up above. We're heading right towards it. Uh, this is actually the path the uh, um... Holy shit, I just had a stroke. Uh, what's the town? I Iristed? Iristed? That sounds wrong, but I think that's what it is. I think it just said it on the sign. Um, but yeah. So the plan of action is, I'm actually going to... I don't, I don't, I don't want to say cheat the game, but I know for a fact that I need his skin. I need his skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait 12 hours. I believe waiting 12 hours will allow me to get this. It should. But you know what assuming does. Makes an ass out of you and me. But mostly you. <laughs> Alright, so do I have that power up? Do I have his skin? No, I do not. We'll wait um, eight more hours. So that will be uh, 20 hours in total. And we've probably been in the game for at least four hours of in-game time when we dealt with stupid stuff. So this should be good now. Yes, his skin is now available for us to use. So that's amazing because mages early on in the game will mess you up. Alright, so I know Yep, there's one to our right there. Now, what I want to do is that, like I said before, I've done some, uh, I've done some test runs on this, and I know there's a corpse in front of this place that's actually a, um, a Stormcloak brother or sister, I don't remember, uh, but there's actually a Stormcloak up here, right there. We can raise the corpse. Oh, they saw us. No more point in sneaking. Oh, we got the third person now. All right, raise the corpse, and now run away. Oh, they—they didn't—they're not messing with us anymore. Can we get a sneak attack on him? No. Okay, we do have a level up. That's pretty good. So it looks like they're—they're they're punching, but that's better than nothing. I think the guys is like mesmerized by the fact there's a dude, an undead dude punching. Uh, and yeah, like the thing with mages is that they're not very strong. Uh, why am I in third person? All right, all right, burn, burn, burn. All right, all right, there we go. We burned that one. All right, time to heal. Yeah, uh, what I was saying was one thing about mages is that you don't really need people to do damage for you. you use pe oh, nice. That scroll was pretty nice. You don't really need people to do damage for you. What you need is just a body in front of you. Alright. Oak Flesh. We're not going to use it. We'll wait one hour. That will regen all of our magicka. And we're going to go ahead and raise another zombie. And I know, as a dude, we can get a pretty good sneak attack on over here. Alright. If I believe, yep, they're at that alchemy table. Nice. We should be able to kill this guy before he gets over here. Another kill cam. Oh, right in the chest. Right between the hearts. Right the hearts. Right between the lungs, it looks like. And there is the actual kill cam. Alright, so. The place where the book is for the spell is right in here. And, uh. It's not fun. It's not a fun location. There's two mages in here. And depending on my luck. Yeah. Alright. Oh! Wow. 
You see how fast you die there? Oh my god, I did it. I think I did. Yes, I did it. So that took me about six times before I kept dying over and over. But I did it. I, that, uh, that scroll that I picked up outside was really worth it. Alright, so now that we're in here, the, the book is actually over here in this bucket. If you turn this bucket over, spill it out, there's actually the bound bow. So that's something we're going to be using a lot. And uh, that's it's pretty awesome. It's totally worth spending all the time dying here, to be honest. Uh, oh, shit. No. I don't want to do Helgen Reborn startup. Oops. I don't want to do Helgen Reborn. <laughs> Alright, so we have Bound Bow. I don't know if we have the Magicka at the moment to be able to, to cast this. Um, actually, let's put one point... Actually... Yeah, we'll put one point in the magic to be safe. We'll see. We don't. We don't have enough. So how much magic do we actually need to be able to cast this? We need 176, and we have 140. All right. So it's kind of not worth it at the moment, uh, but it is a apprentice level skill, so we should have it soon. So yeah, we have the, we have the bow that we need to pretty much win the game. So now we have the bow. What should we do? We could do a couple things. We could go ahead and do some of the main storyline to progress the story a little bit. And I think that's what we're going to do. I think we'll head to Bleak Falls Barrow next episode. Good. Actually, we'll head to Whiterun and then uh, sell some stuff. Talk to Jarl Bulgriff uh, about the situation that's going on. We'll play to Julius real quick. And uh, I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. And uh, sorry, this this episode was a little bit uh, hectic, uh, sporadic, and uh, a clusterfuck. But that's what you come to expect with my videos. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like on this so I know you guys enjoy it. If you can get like 15 likes on this video, I'll be really happy. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And this is Clayton, signing out.